Um, another one, is, another big red flag I think is somebody, and this is usually a prospect, where they're asking for work before a contract is signed. I've had this happen many times, again in our business, even when I was doing consulting work in the past, um, people would ask me for like these really, really detailed, I'll never forget, this was probably 12 years ago. And I was very naive at the time, I was in I think my mid-20s, and somebody was asking me for a proposal, so I created a very high-level proposal for a consulting project for them. And then they, they came back and they wanted more information. And the more information they were asking for is around like research and timelines and deliverables, and they were asking for like a legitimate, like a lot of work. And so I spent hours and hours putting this thing together, handed it over to them, and then they ended up not working with me. And then I found that they were actually doing the work that I sent over in this proposal. But I did so much free work for them that they're probably like, this guy already did all the work for us? Why are we paying him anything now? <laughs> like, we can just take the information that he gave us. So I think you do need to be aware um, when somebody is trying to ask you for work before the contract has been signed. It could be for, if you're consulting, if you're presenting a workshop, it could be somebody who wants like the agenda and the deliverables for the workshop before you've signed a contract, right? So like little yeah, we things. we don't really do that type of thing for the most part. Yeah, I mean, usually we start the process and when somebody asks, and this is I think something that you can do, it, when somebody asks for work before a contract is signed, I usually respond by email and I say, hey, you know, thanks for sending this over. Just to give you a sense of what my typical process looks like. First, we have this introductory call. Um, so you can get to know me a little bit. Then I'll send you a very short engagement letter which outlines the terms, right? Uh, when I'm speaking or what the consulting project is. If you're okay with that and you sign it, then we're good to go. And then we can schedule a couple calls leading up to your event or project where we can talk about things in more detail. But until we actually go through that process, it's too early or I'll say it's a little bit early for me to, you know, outline this whole agenda without knowing we're even going to be working together. So I, I push back a little bit and I think, uh, you know, it's okay. Here's the thing, you're competing probably with big consultancies or research firms. They charge millions of dollars. So it's probably customary when they book a consultant from a big company that they go through this pitch and proposal process where they interview like five firms and each firm does a proposal and it's quite an involved process of getting yeah. that proposal assuming they're going to book a multi-million dollar project uh, with an, a solopreneur it's completely different so you can't always be upset that they want all this work up front because maybe that's used to what they're used to getting but again healthy boundaries say it with a smile be nice about it but again have faith in yourself and the confidence to politely say oh, you know we're going to do that after we sign the engagement letter happy to work on this right up with you, but again, we need to sign the contract and I'm happy then to move forward.